Shalom. Before we get started, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to the Heavenly Father and His Son by their true names. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Harakak Wadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. And honors and salutations to my Akim, a Great Millstone pushing his truth through the four corners. Shalom. And um, <clears throat> this is just this, uh, a video. It says an Edomite uh, radio host admits that the blacks brought to the Americas are in fact the Israelites. <clears throat> and um, I'm going to title it, uh, this is not the point of the video, but it's kind of like, it's going to be like two videos in one. And uh, I'm going to title it, the, uh, the Great Deliverance is, uh, you know, because you got, you got most of the Israelites, you know, you know, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know, but on the, uh, you know, the elect, the chosen, you know, a remnant is going to come back to who they are, you know, and be delivered. And we know we're going to, uh, you know, have martyrs and things like that, you know, but um, for the most part, you know, we're going to be delivered from from over here in the, uh, Babylon the Great, which is America. You know, and I got the precepts and things like that. But I also want to, uh, you know, uh, watch this little quick video. And the Elder Apostles, you know, a great millstone, you know, on down to the least of us, you know, been telling you uh, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know, this, you know. <clears throat> I'll go on even further to say this. That the um, the slave trade uh, is is actually connected to Deuteronomy 28 because the majority of the slaves that were brought to the Caribbean islands and brought to the Americas were Hebrew people, were people of Hebrew and Hebraic Israelite descent, if you will. And so, if you read Deuteronomy chapter 28, it matches perfectly what happened to the Hebrew slaves, the black. And there's plenty of. You know, type in GMS and you can, you know, go and uh, get breakdowns and stuff on the history and, uh, you know, information on, you know, uh, what was going on, you know, during the, uh, the uh, you know, the Byzantine times and uh, the, the different tribes that was on that west coast of Africa. Hebrew slaves during the slave trade. It just matches oh, 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 like he, uh, name one, Igbo, Yoruba, you know. That's up now. I think, I think we just rung a bell here. Hold up now. Okay. Ashanti, you know, the, uh, Mandy, Mandinkas, you know, Swahili, and, you know, uh, so on and so on, you know. But, uh, yeah, just, uh, I came across that video, you know, and just wanted to, uh, you know, but that's just mainly for new guys that's just coming into the truth and things like that. But this Proverbs 20, 25 and 2, it is the glory of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua to conceal a thing, but the honor of kings is to search out a matter. All right? And, uh, only the men of the Lord... You know, the whole for elect, and Lord willing, I'm a part of that, that number. You know, we're going to uh, search out a matter, you know. <clears throat> and it's it's important to know your uh, your history, you know. Jeremiah 16 and 14, Therefore, behold, the days come, saith Yahweh, that it shall no more be said, uh, The Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. All right? But the, the Lord Yahweh liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. All right? Ain't we in uh, North America? 
all right, and from all the lands where he had driven them, all right, because uh, us Israelites we scattered all, all over the uh, you know earth, and um, and from all the lands where he have had driven them, and I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers, and uh, we're gonna get the precept. It's in Jeremiah. Uh, 12 chapter about the speckled bird alright uh, behold I will send for many uh, fishers you know which we in that time now you know still you got men of the Lord prophets uh, <clears throat> not not all of them you know uh, in the lockdown situation and things like that some of them still able to uh, you know and for the most part you know we still go not on the highways and byways though, but still meet up, you know, as a camp and uh edify, you know, the whole elect. And um behold I will send for many fishers, said the Lord Yahweh, you know, fishers of men, and they shall fish them and get and after will I send for many hunters. Alright, so uh that precept in, in Matthew uh roughly paraphrasing but once the, uh, you know, this truth be preached out to the four winds, you know, you know, which, which, uh, this, this internet, you know, YouTube, the unicorn, which is called the unicorn, you know, and the fountain, you know, come, come into play, you know, you know, it's serving its purpose, you know, and this truth reach out to the four, uh, that's how, that's how, uh, you know, me, myself, uh, you know, came into this truth by uh you know first saw it on YouTube and things like that but and that's how you know po most people wake up to it to the uh to this truth but once this uh you know the truth go out to the four winds then shall the end come roughly paraphrasing and it says um and after will I send for many hunters and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks, you know, because you got you gonna have these elites, you know, these so called uh, white elites, you know, which they're they're Edomites, all right, according to the Bible, you know, <clears throat> they're gonna be hiding in bunkers, you know, and things like that, bunkers on the ground, bunkers uh, under the the sea, and all that, you know, <clears throat> which all this is prophecy, you know. No, that's not it. It's like you. It's in this same trap. No. Because even though I'm speaking, uh, the title is going to be, you know, The Great Deliverance, you know, meaning out of, uh, you know, once again, out of Babylon the Great, which is America. Because you got, you know, a lot of uh, Israelites over here, you know, a lot of uh, the... Uh, Northern Kingdom, you know, the Ten Tribes, you know, and uh, and you also got, you know, the Southern Kingdom over here as well, all right? <clears throat> Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, all right? But uh, first we're going to get this. Jeremiah 12 and 9, my inheritance is unto, unto me as a speckled bird. The birds round about are against her. Uh, come ye, assemble all the beasts of the field. Come to devour, all right, and the uh, beasts of the field are these other nations, all right. But uh, Israel, you know, the Israelites were, were scattered all over the uh, earth, you know, and we are amongst every uh, every nation, you know, under the sun, you know. You got Israelites uh, that look like Edomites that's really Israelites, and you know. And, uh, you know, things like that. You know, you get the uh, point. All right. <clears throat> Let me see.
Yeah, you go. This is Matthew 24 and 28. For wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered uh, together. All right? The carcass, uh, meaning Israel, and the eagles are the chariots, the UFOs, that you, what you people call them. That's why, like, if you, uh, you can go on Google and look up uh, or watch it on YouTube, how many UFO sightings, you know, have been uh, in America. And America is the most UFO uh, sighted on the map, you know. You got you got UFO sightings everywhere, you know. If you check the map, they they all over the uh, the uh, earth. I mean, uh, throughout the whole earth, the four winds. All right, because you got Israel, the Israelites scattered everywhere, but the most of the uh, they they mostly are sighted. In America, okay? But you're going to see, you know, if you, uh, I ain't look it up, but you can look it up. But it says, uh, for wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. All right? Uh. Oh, I had it twice, okay. Had it twice. It's uh, Jeremiah 50 and 33. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together, and all that took them captives held them fast. They refused to let them go. All right? And that's that's over here, you know, where we currently in, Babylon the Great, which is, you know, also spiritually called Egypt, you know, because you still got the Israelites in bondage. All right? <clears throat> And uh, at first you had just uh, the northern kingdom over here, you know, and the southern kingdom was brought over here on slave ships, all right? <clears throat> and we still over here. It, it been it been over uh it been over five hundred five hundred years, you know, and we still in captivity to this day, you know. <clears throat> but we're reaching the end of uh of Esau uh. Rulership. And you got, um, like you just saw in the video, you know. <clears throat> it's bad when you got other, uh, you got heathen nations, you know, telling you. Uh, they even got a video out there of a, a actual uh, Hamite. You know, which which would you you, you would call the uh, African? You know, telling you people that uh, uh, you Negroes, you know, are are, are Israelites. All right, you know, <clears throat> you know from the uh, tribe of uh, you know you got Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. You know. And if you uh, it's like if you just now hearing this, you can uh, you know uh, well I had a precept also. Um, oh I, I read it, Slaki. I read it. It was in Proverbs. Um. Okay, that was that was it. That was it. All right. But yeah, so um, this is the precept I was going to re reread again. But the point is, you know, you got to uh, put in some work, you know. <clears throat> like they say, uh, uh, early bird gets the worm. Well, you're supposed to seek uh, the Lord early. How about Shemi shot early? You know, before uh, martial law kick in, you know. And Jacob's trouble fully uh turn up to the max. Uh let me see. Might pop up.
All right. And uh, we can read this one. This first Chronicles 16 11. Seek the Lord Yahweh and his strength. Seek his face continually. All right. Which when you first come in this truth, you can't you can't take breaks and things like that. You know. <clears throat> no matter how hard it get, you can't take breaks or nothing like that. You know. Like uh let me get that precept. Uh Here you go. Uh, Isaiah 62 and 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem. You know, talking about the elder apostles of Great Millstone. You know, on down to the, uh, you know, the elders over each camp across the four winds of the earth. You know, and on down to the least of us. Which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Yet ye that make mention of the Lord Yahweh, keep not silence. All right. Mm. That's a good one. All right, because this is what we commanded to do, you know. <clears throat> Especially, you know, when you uh, you know, just coming into the truth and things like that, and you know, and from when you come into the truth, you know, and all the way till we get on these ships. In, on the uh, chariots, Isaiah 34 and 16, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord, Yahweh, and read, No one of these shall fail, none shall want her mate, for my mouth it hath commanded, and his spirit it hath gathered them. Alright, so, <clears throat> you know, we got to be eating as much as we can, you know, before, you know, uh, and getting these breakdowns from the elder apostles of Great Millstone, you know. All you got to do is type in uh, GMS breakdowns, and there you go. You know, you, you got your whole whole table of food. This the one. Uh, Isaiah 55 and 6. Seek ye the Lord Yahweh while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. All right? <clears throat> and, you know, Yahweh by Shemel Shai is near, you know, you know, right now. Because once, you know, the internet... Uh, you know, the that family of the word kick in, you know, it's gonna pr pretty much uh, you know, be a wrap. You know. <clears throat> All right. Uh. So before, you know, all these uh. You know, Jacob's trouble, like turn up to the max and, uh, <clears throat> you know, that market of beasts and, uh, you know, you better seek how about Shemuel Shah and definitely before the missiles get here, you know. <clears throat> uh, okay, okay. That was pretty. That was pretty much it. Let me see. Yeah, that was pretty much it. But like I said, the title gonna be uh the Great Deliverance, you know, uh, from from the north, okay. And uh, Lord willing, that was edifying. Want to give all praises and glory and honor to the Heavenly Father and the Son by their true names, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Harakakodash. And double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, who rule and teach well. And honors and salutations to my Akima Great Millstone. That's still pushing this truth throughout the four corners. Alright. And uh Shalom Akim.
Kwame Yashaolin, blah, 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 blah. 